Okay, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to add a logo to your site. Let me show you this demo site that we're going to be doing. Um, I've got whatever. It's whatever.stippy.com. It's just a demo site that I have. Um, so it has whatever here. It has the tagline. Uh, I've created a menu. Uh, basically, just created a few extra pages just so we can go through and change uh, the different menus around. One thing I want to show you really quickly, and I had this question come up the other day, and this might be, uh, might be new information to some of you. Uh, but if you click on menus, uh, one thing you'll want to do is you want to create a new menu and you'll want to make sure and you can name it whatever you want. Just create a new one and then drag all your um, all your pages into there and then, then basically click on uh, main navigation so that that will assign it to this area. Because uh, one thing about Ultra is you can actually create multiple menus and then you can even have a different menu for each page. Um, and let me show you that really quickly while we're here because that's kind of a cool feature and I, I like it a lot I've used it um, several times um, but I can come here and right here I can choose which menu I want used on this page I can also choose uh, what style of menu to use as well so it's pretty cool that you can do stuff like that uh, so let's go back here uh, actually, we're going to go and we're going to add a logo. And the way to do that is you go over to Ultra, which is the name of the theme. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to Customize. We're going to leave the regular dashboard area. We're going to go to a preview mode. And don't worry if this preview mode doesn't look right. If it's a little off, um, that's okay. That's just how it looks uh, in preview mode. For example, right now, uh, because I've squished my browser down to fit into a smaller video uh, area, and also because this is taking up so much space, we've got the, uh, the mobile menu showing up here instead of the regular menu. But if I go to the other uh, page, which doesn't have uh, the split screen here, uh, you can see that it's showing the regular menu. Um, also right here, it's white, where on here it's a little grayish. So uh, don't worry if the preview doesn't look completely the way it should. So let's go ahead and we're going to change uh, this, uh, this text right here. Uh, we've got a tagline right here, and then we've got the text right here. Now, this is the default settings for the text. And if you just want to do a text logo, um, that's great. You can they, they give you a lot of options right here. Um, and so right now, let's see, we've got site title is what should be said. I, I was fiddling with it a minute ago before I did the video. And so it, uh, but it is, um, should be on site title. And you can go through and you can change the font. You can see there's a whole bunch of Google fonts you can choose. So you can do all kinds of uh, fun stuff here. And just kind of fiddling with a few of these. Anyway, and then you can change the size. And you can say, uh, well, I want it to, right now, uh, the, the default is to be all uppercase. And you can see it's not set here. Um, that's set in the default CSS, but we're, we can override the default CSS in here. So if we want it to be all lowercase, we can do that. If we want it to be upper and lowercase, we can change it here, um, and so on and so on. So, um, and then to if we wanted to go back to where it was, we just click that. Uh, let's see, that is not doing it properly. Anyway, um, we can also set the line height. So if we want, um, if we want it to have a little bit more space around it, a little bit higher, at, you know, on the top, on the bottom, uh, we can set that here. And we can also change the color and so forth. So, but let's uh, let's actually put a logo in there. Now, the logo can be a little tricky. Um, uh, one thing you want to make sure is if if you have a background color, you want to make sure you can match that color, uh, or you want it to be transparent. Now, we do logo design as well. So, if you're having trouble, contact us. Uh, we'll give you a good rate at that. Um, but I'm, I've just created something really basic here. I just took some font, just typed in uh, whatever, put a drop shadow on it, and there we are. So I'm just going to save this now. And we're going to come over here and we'll refresh this and we'll see that now we have the logo there. Now you can see it's smaller over here. That's because it, this page was scrolled down and as you scroll, it shrinks it down a little bit to make a little bit smaller header. So you could actually have a, a fairly good sized logo and have it, and it would fit to the header. So you'd have a bigger header and then as you scrolled, it, would, it scales it down to a certain percentage. Another cool thing we have on this page is you can see I have the parallax effect, but I'll have to show you that in a different video. I also have the features here. These are features from uh, Ultra. Uh, I'll also have to show you that from a different video. But let's now show you how to uh, set the stylings for your uh, menu. I'm going to do that really quickly. We'll just go down here to Main Navigation. And right here you can set font size. You can set the font. You can uh, say uh, we want to be all, right now I think it's all it's all upper and lower case. 
So let's force it to be all uppercase. Let's just save real quickly. Refresh that. Now it's all uppercase. Um, and say so we want it to be bold. Uh, we can choose the, the font that it needs to be. Let's see what a cool font might be. I don't even know what, what font that is. Let's just check it out. Okay, that's fine. Um, and now let's go through, and we've got uh, several different settings. We've got the menu link hover. We've got the menu active link. Uh, so the current active link is the home page. You can see right now it's a little bit darker uh, than these. And as I hover over them, you can see they darken up just a little bit. I don't know if that's coming through on the video or not. Uh, but let's let's change things up a little bit here. So we've got the, the menu link hover. Now let's go up to, let's see. Oh. Let's change, uh, let's do menu link right now and change this to a white. And the background is going to be, uh, we'll just even do a gray just so you can see. This isn't going to be pretty, but just so you can see what's happening here. And so now we've got, oh, the white didn't take effect there, did it? Um, sometimes this gets a little quirky and uh, it doesn't quite work exactly the way it should, but. Um, let's do the menu link hover background is going to be a little darker gray and the color we're going to see if we can get it to go white again and I'll do refresh and so it still doesn't want to do white for the, the foreground color um, and it could be that the, the st style sheet might have a little bit of a uh, of an override feature on it um, it should allow this to override and uh, often Themeify will come out with updates where they where people point out little things like this so don't be too concerned but we can actually fix this pretty easily and I can show you how to do that here in just a second so let's let's choose the uh, the active link which will be the home let's choose its background color and let's make it uh, red of course like I said this is not going to be pretty let's just uh, I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes here We'll see if we can get it to, to do a yellow there. And the active link hover, we're going to make it a little darker red. And we'll do the same color. And let's save and publish. Hit refresh. And there we got the yellow to come through. And you can see as I hover over it, it uh, darkens up. So you can go through and you can change a lot of things like that. And let me show you. Couple of quick little tips. In Chrome, I'm in the Chrome browser. I'm going to do a right click on it and I'm going to do inspect element. And I clicked on this object right here. And you can see the colors are showing over here. Uh, now it also could be dependent on, um, on where you're exactly at. Um, some things are on the LI code. And I know I'm going over a lot of people's head right now. But I just wanted to show you this so you can do a. a I'm going to click on this A tag. So this is the source code that we're looking at right here. And I'm going to click on it. As I click on different things, it'll highlight it up here for me. And so it shows me different things. So if you're really having trouble and you can't get something to work, well, if you still can't get it to work, give us a call and see if we can help you fix it for you. Um, but uh, otherwise, uh, you can come here and you can see what is actually controlling that color. And so if I wanted, I could actually even come in here and I could copy this code right here. And I can, I could go, well, let's, let's yeah, I, well, I could copy this code right here and I can override um, what is being done here. So I'm just going to, I selected it and now I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom where it says custom CSS. And I can paste in code right here. And I can actually, so this one, uh, one of them was crossed out. So the top one here and the top one there were crossed out. So I'm going to go ahead and, and keep those crossed out. I'm going to get rid of them. Um, and I can actually override this code now. Um, so if I wanted to, I could just say this code is going to be white. And I'm going to force it by putting important there. And I did an exclamation point on purpose that tells it that it should force it to be white. I'm going to click, click save now. And I'm going to hit refresh. And there now it's white. So there are um, there's uh, some things like that that you can override. We could even go in and we could set uh, radius borders there and different things like that. 
but that's basically how you set up uh, the different colors and stuff like that for your menus. And uh, so keep posted. I'll uh, I'll uh, post some more videos here soon. Uh, so go ahead and, and uh, like this video if you like it and follow me. Thanks.